Yes, thank you. A Wake County jury returned to court this morning announcing they have found Nate Holden guilty of first degree murder and the deaths of his in laws. CBS North Carolina Steve Sprazier on this trial from the beginning. He joins us live from outside the courthouse with how we got here and where we go now. Steve. The next step of this case, Sharon, is to go back into court for the second phase of the trial. During the first phase of the trial, you might recall there was a lot of emotional testimony. Testimony from the woman who miraculously was able to survive an attempt by her husband to kill her. And testimony from the killer's dad, who offered an apology that nobody saw coming. Can I say something before I get started, please? What's that? I like to say to the Smith and the Taylor family that I'm sorry for the loss of their loved ones and to Latanya for pain and suffering through this. That unexpected apology was made by Nate Holden's dad, who was called by the defense to testify on behalf of his son. Also during that trial, the surgeon who had worked to save Latanya's life after she was shot in the face and heart testified it was a miracle Latanya survived because she had a bullet hole at this uh, location above near her heart that if it would have um, penetrated her heart most likely she would have died at the scene. Today the jury found Nate Holden guilty of attempted first degree murder of his ex-wife and guilty of first degree murder of her parents. If you would just simply raise your hands if these verdicts as announced reflect your unanimous verdicts. Let the record reflect 12 jurors have raised their hand. As Nate Holden left the courtroom surrounded by deputies LaTanya's family surrounded her, wrapping her in an embrace designed to offer comfort and support as emotions well to the surface following her ex-husband's conviction. And because this is a death penalty case, the jury must now decide Nate Holden's sentence. They begin that work tomorrow. The prosecution begins presenting evidence it hopes will result in capital punishment. Reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina.